viewers today we'll talk about database data warehouse and data lake we'll see what is database what is data warehouse and what is data lake when to use database when to use data lake and we'll see the difference between database data warehouse and data lake so let's get started so a database is a collection of data or information database are typically accessed electronically and are used to support online transaction processing Database management system store data in database and enable user and application to interact with the data. The term database is commonly used to reference both the database itself as well as the DBMS. Now, what is the feature of database? So, security feature uh, of database uh, is uh, there to ensure the data can only be accessed by authorized users. Database also has ACID property. Uh, ACID stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. Trans uh, so, it gives uh, Atomicity, consistency, resolution, and durability uh, to all the transactions. Third, database has query language. So, query language and APIs to easily interact with the data in the database. Database also has indexes to optimize the query performance. Database gives you full text search. Database uh, optimizations for mobile device. Flexible deployment topologies to isolate workloads, such as analytical workloads to a specific set of resources. And the another uh, feature of database is on-premise, private cloud, and public cloud, hybrid cloud. It is available at all the places. Now, what are the different types of database? We have RDBMS, uh, which example is MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, Postgres SQL. Then we have document-based database such as MongoDB, CouchDB. Then we have key-value-based database, uh, which is Redis or DynamoDB. Then we have wide column store, which is Cassandra and HBase and graph database which is new 4j and amazon neptune why we need database so if your application needs to store data and uh, nearly every inter interactive application does so your application needs database application across industries and use cases are built on databases many types of data can be stored in database which includes patient medical records you can store in, in database item inventory you can store in database financial records you can store in database you can store articles, blogs, sports scores, statistics, online gaming information, student grades and scores, IoT device uh, information you can store, sensor data in database, small application information, everything can be stored in database. Now let's see what is data warehouse. So data warehouse are large storage location for data that you can accumulate from a wide range of sources. So if you have a huge data, um, based to, uh, if you use data to store, then you can use data warehouse. You can collect from multiple sources and store it at a single place, which you can call data warehouse. For decades, the foundation of business intelligence and data discovery stories uh, rested on data warehouse. Their specific static structure dictates what data analysis you can you could perform. Data warehouse are popular with mid and large size business as a way of sharing data and content across the team. Or departments silo databases. Data warehouse help organization become more efficient. Organizations that use data warehouse often do so to guide management decisions, all those data driven decisions you always hear about. Some of the examples uh, for using them is you know, like yellow bricks and terra data. Now let's see what is data lake. A data lake is a large storage repository that holds a huge amount of raw data in its original format until you need it. Data Lake exploits the biggest limitation of data warehouse, that is their ability to be more flexible. As well as we'll see below, uh, the use case of data lakes are generally limited to data science research and testing. So the primary users of data lakes are data scientists and engineers and data engineers. For a company that actually builds data warehouse, for instance, the data lake is a place to dump and uh, the data temporarily and store all the data until the data warehouse is up and running. Small and medium-sized organizations like likely have little or no reason to use data lakes you can use data lake with hadoop azure image and s3 etc so if you'll see the comparison um, between these three so in terms of data uh, database have a structured data data warehouse also store structured data and um, uh, in the case of data lake it can be raw or unstructured data which you can find or fill in the data lake in terms of processing uh, database is schema on write uh, data warehouse is also schema on write and data lake is schema on read uh, in terms of cost uh, many databases are free to use data warehouse are also free depends on if you use some paid tool paid data warehouse and data lake uh, can also be free and paid both it comes in both format 
Now in terms of agility, um, database varies. Now data warehouse minimally varies and data lake maximum has maximum uh, agility. In terms of security, um, database is immature, uh, data warehouse is more mature and data lake is immature as well in terms of security. Uh, in terms of user, uh, if you'll see the dif difference, um, data anyone can use um, database. Data warehouse is used by business user mostly and data lake uh, is used by data scientists. And uh, some of the use case, uh, if you'll see for database, it is reporting, analytics, automation, data warehouse, uh, again, business intelligence, machine learning, and data lakes uh, used for data science and research purpose. If we'll go further to see the difference, so database and data warehouse can only store data that has been structured. A data lake, on the other hand, does not respect data like a data warehouse and a database. It stores all type of data, structured, semi-structured or unstructured. Storing data warehouse can be costly, especially if the, the volume of data is large. A data lake, on the other hand, is designed for low-cost storage. A database has flexible storage cost, which can either be high or low, depends on the needs. Data warehouse technologies, uh, unlike big data technologies, have been around uh, for long and is in use uh, for decades. Data warehouse are much more mature and secure than data lakes. Big data technology which incorporates data lakes are relatively new. Because of this, the ability to secure data in a data lake is immature. Surprisingly, databases are often less secure th than warehouse. And that is likely due to low database databases developed for a small set of data, not the big data use case we see today. Data warehouse, data lake, and database are suited for different users. Databases are very flexible and thus suited for any user. Data warehouse are used mostly in the business industry by the business professional, business intelligence people, etc. And data lakes are mostly used in scientific um, study, such as by the data scientists or in machine learning, etc. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you think the videos are helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.